The state government's been blasted over its handling of a pricey CBD parking tax. It's meant to fund transport projects in the city. Now the Auditor General's revealing more than half a million dollars of it was set aside to pay for the Wacker pool. An almost $200,000 cash stash with no plans on how to spend it. It is a lot of money and it's really important that the community gets the outcomes that were intended. The Auditor General blasting the government over its handling of a pricey parking tax stripped from CBD businesses and supposed to be spent on transport within the city, finding it failed to consult with the City of Perth on eight of the 13 projects approved in the last five years. So our ratepayers and property owners rightfully today should be questioning why they have been paying that money. It also revealed the Transport Minister backed plans to spend almost $600,000 of parking taxes on a Wacker pool after the council refused to fund its upkeep. Well, the, well, no funds have been spent from that account for that purpose. So it was a conditional approval. Had the Auditor General not been doing her report, would it have gone from provisionally approved to approved? Had that happened, that would have been unlawful. But as of two days ago, the government is rewriting the rules, allowing the levy to be spent on non-transport projects, even outside the CBD. The reality is these types of assets all are all about bringing life and vitality to the city. The Lord Mayor has other ideas. At the moment, our Perth railway station, the gateway to our city, does not look up to scratch. Let's fix it up. Louise Rennie, Nine News.